By the way, guys, this is just a quick thing before we start to get into the video. This is a new thing that I'm doing, so if you like the thing, then please do drop a like and comment down below if you want to see more of these movie reviews. And, well, that's going to be it. Um, this is going to be kind of cringy because I've never done this before. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you there. Fate of the Furious, the eighth installment into the Fast and Furious franchise, starring the main characters, Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, Dwayne Johnson, and Charlie Theron. Those are like the four main characters, and I'm just going to be talking to them about the real names in this thing, so yeah, let's just get into it. Basically, what you see in the trailers is that so far it looks like Dom has gone rogue, like they say. He turns on the whole team and basically now they need we don't know what's going on in the movie and it's really surprising like i just want to say that's really surprising um in the trailers what you see i felt like that they didn't show enough like there's a lot of surprises in these movies when if you'll see it and basically i felt like they didn't show enough i mean in the trailers it looks good already i mean you say dwayne johnson carrying a gosh dang torpedo and throwing it to another car um but basically i felt like they could have added a little bit more because the trailers didn't really show much of anything to what's gonna happen in the movie if you know what i mean so i felt like they could have added more but yet i could have seen why they didn't add some of these other surprises in the trailers because then that would have killed the whole thing so that's what i think that's what i'm saying and what i loved about it is that those surprise those surprises that we did not see in the trailer just made you like okay what and remember in the trailer scene where you see dom kissing cypher in the movie well when if you see the actual movie that it the just everything from the music and the way they do it i don't know why it's exactly the same but like it's just so much better i don't know why and i'm doing this a lot um <laughs> but yeah well if you see that when you see that scene it's going to be so much better in the trailers it's going to be so much better in there than the actual trailers itself. So, yeah. I mean, they could have done better in the trailers, but yet I'm glad to see those other surprises and different things that I did not see in the trailers in the movie that were outstanding. And, yeah. Um, the play And what's another thing that's so good about the movie is that there's so many parts where like it's not logical like you're gonna be like really but not like in a bad way but you're like okay wow but then you keep on rolling with it you know what i mean it's like one of those movies but yet if you're one of those people that are like oh my god how is that even possible why is he even doing that why what is this what is that then you're not gonna like the movie i felt like it was that low rated like the ratings of the movie was that low because those people watched it. Those kinds of people watched it, and then they did not like it. They're like, "How did how did Dwayne Johnson do? Just threw that torpedo like that." I'm I'm just a kid. I don't even care. I'm just like I want to like the movie. I want to see action. That's all I want to see. I'm not like those specific kind of people. Like if you are expecting that in that movie, then just don't watch it in the first place because then you're not gonna like it. But if you don't care or you're like, uh, you like that kind of stuff, then I feel like you will love to watch that movie because there's so many parts in it that you're just like, okay, wow. And Cypher is, I think I shouldn't have brought this in so late into the thing. Cypher is basically one of the big, the biggest hacker in the entire world where she basically, I mean, she could do anything. If it's technology, she can hack it. Like, it's amazing, <laughs> because, like, oh, and, like, another thing that I said that was, you know how I remember, you know how I recall about the kissing scene? I remember if you've seen the trailers where she gets a tsunami of cars. Well, it's, like, the same thing right now. When you see the tsunami in cars in the movie, it's so much better in 
the movie than in the trailers. So, like, there's so many parts in the trailers that aren't as good as in the movie. So, basically, all you're seeing in the trailers, the movie's gonna be better with showing it, if you know what I mean, right? right? So, yeah, so now we're going back to the trailer thing. So, yes, and I feel like the movie was great out of all. I mean, I'm not a teenager. I'm not an adult. I'm not those people that look at those specific details in the movies. I don't care. I just want to see if the movie has what it says it has. Action, cars, beauty, and more action. And that's why I like the movie so much because it brought in everything and... I just love it in total. Um, if you guys want more of this, then drop five likes. And if we drop five likes, then I'm going to give the spoiler review. And, yeah, that's going to be it. Um, I can already tell my friends are going to like be laughing at this. But that's what I thought of the movie. Um, I felt like if I were to do a spoiler review, I would be talking way more. But since I can't really spoil the movie, this is what I'm going to give you. All I'm saying is, if you think the trailers were good, which in my opinion were, they were pretty good, but they could have been better when I saw the movie, then if you think the trailers were good, the movie's going to be better. So, that's what I'm saying. Hope you have enjoyed. Drop five likes for a spoiler review. And by the way, Papa, I watched John Wick 2. Hey. <laughs>